that's more important than ever. Brooks Lyers at the Harrisburg High School where meals are being prepped each week. So Brooke, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, good morning, Dave. Well, the summer meals program put on by the Harrisburg School District usually serves 2,500 meals each week. But this year, that number has been bumped up to 14,500. Now, that's about six times the amount of food, and I got to see how it was done. What you see in these pictures are volunteers coming together to make sure any child 18 and under who needs a meal gets one. Each Monday, bags of food are handed out that contain 10 meals, five breakfasts, and five lunches. It's a group effort which starts the week before. Valerie Hodges, who's the food service coordinator for the Harrisburg School District, says it all begins on Thursday. Volunteers come together to bag milk for the kids. Each child gets 10 cartons, enough for one at each meal. All the perishable food items are also bagged that day as well. These contain potatoes, carrots, sometimes they can contain tomatoes or bell peppers. All the meals follow USDA guidelines and contain frozen items that kids can pull out of the freezer and easily eat or microwave. Uncrustable, grilled cheese, a pizza boat. But the busy day is Friday when other volunteers come in to bag the shelf stable foods. We appreciate you and what you've done for us. All right, one more hand for her. Remember, we got two pass. Get after it. Volunteers are given a bag and go around to each table, which has a sign specifying the type of food and how many to put in the bag. I even jumped in myself to help out. All right, one cereal, two cocoa puffs. Okay. One cereal bar, we'll do cinnamon crunch toast. That sounds good. From up above, you see that volunteers move like a well-oiled machine. One of those volunteers is Janet Hughes, who spent 37 years at Harrisburg teaching and now is the science department chair for the high school. Hughes says this helps to give purpose back to her week. When you go to bed at night, you always knew what you had to do the next day, and that's been up in the air a lot, and it, I think it gives some of us an idea of what we have to do today. She started with just bagging on Fridays, but now helps on Thursdays. Everything has a specific reason for why it is, and until you come every day, you don't realize any of that. As well as Mondays with the distribution, which after a bit of a learning curve. And I ended up having to learn to drive the, the white bus. <laughs> So the, the first two weeks, I only went like 15 miles an hour, but I can drive the speed limit now in the white bus. Is her favorite part. That's the best um, because they'll tell you how they're doing and if they need anything else, you know, that we can try and, and find a way to, to help them with. But they are, they are very, very grateful. And coming up on later on in the show, we're talking about how great the need is for this summer meals program. But for now, over to you, Nick.